Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Fabrizio Romano reveals Man United's run-in will influence Eric Ten Hag's future at the club. The results Manchester United are able to achieve towards the end of the season will be important in the club's decision over the long-term future of Eric Ten Hag, Fabrizio Romano has revealed. Writing in his daily briefing column, the Italian transfer guru made reference to the difficult game United endured against Brantford. Ten Hag's position at Old Trafford has been under intense scrutiny in the past few weeks. Gareth Southgate has been reported as Inouye's first choice target should United's new leader decide they want a change of manager, while Graham Potter, Roberto De Zerbi, Julian Nagelsmann and Thomas Tuchel are also believed to be under consideration. Inouye's are content for Ten Hag to remain in place until the end of the season, however, they will then make a decision on the Dutchman's future at this point. Romano reveals there is an ongoing conversation over the situation at Old Trafford, with a number of factors likely to play an important part in the eventual decision. He said, It's something normal when you have new co-owners to discuss the manager position internally. Conversations between Inouye's and Ten Hag have always been good and positive in the recent months, but results in the final two months will be important to make a decision on Ten Hag. Also, Man United want to finalize their board structure before making any final decision on the manager. Anna Baal Mejberi set for Manchester United return in the summer after Nightmare Sevilla loan. Not every Manchester United player is having a good time on loan at La Liga. Mason Greenwood has rebuilt his professional career at Getafe and Facundo Pellastri, even though his team is getting relegated, has at least received minutes on the pitch. Mejberi, on the other hand, has been going through a bona fide nightmare at Sevilla one that could finally be receiving an ending. Manchester Evening News reports that Mejberry is set to return to United in the summer after failing to ignite at Seville. The Tunisian went to Sevilla in January after rebuffing approaches from the likes of Everton and the doubts which were raised at the time proved to be prophetic. Almost immediately, ominous statements from their manager about the players' performances painted a worrying picture. Recently, the nadir of his spell was reached when he was told to stay home and not to travel for their game at all. The mess has reached such a level that a recent report indicated that it's harming relations between the two clubs, with United not pleased with Sevilla's treatment of the player. The deal which contained a £17 million buy option, as well as a buyback option in case he sets the world alight in Spain, looks a lifetime ago now. It's yet another example of United failing with their loan system, as Mejberry returned in the summer on the back of an encouraging loan spell at Birmingham in the Championship. Instead of taking the natural next step and moving to a Premier League side, he inexplicably chose a Sevilla team in perennial upheaval in recent years. It has inevitably come back to bite him and the club, as he will have to rebuild his career effectively from scratch, while United have seen the value of their player crash completely. Man United keeping tabs on a progress of sporting midfielder Morten Hjulmand. Manchester United and Barcelona are keeping a close eye on the progress of sporting midfielder Morten Hjulmand ahead of the summer. The Red Devils are likely to recruit a new defensive midfielder in the next transfer window, with the prospect of Casimiro leaving the club. The Brazilian star has endured a difficult second season with injuries and it has been reported that he could make the switch to Saudi Arabia soon. Portuguese outlet record claim that United are keeping a close eye on the progress made by Hulman with the Primera Liga leaders. United are not alone in the pursuit with Barcelona also tracking his performances this term. The Danish star has been in splendid form for sporting in the Portuguese top flight this season. He has had a passing accuracy of 87% on 
over the campaign. The 24-year-old has won 54% of his duels with 1.9 tackles per game. He has made more than 5 ball recoveries per outing, losing possession on 8.4 occasions. Yulman has attributes which are quite similar to Casimero. He could be seen as a successor to the Brazilian if he were to head for the exit door this summer. Barcelona are also said to be interested in the talented midfielder, but they are highly unlikely to afford him due to their ongoing financial fair play issues with La Liga. Yulman currently has a release clause worth 80 million euros, but Sporting are likely to negotiate a lesser fee for his services come the end of the campaign. Man United should make ambitious swoop for Fulham striker Rodrigo Munez. Manchester United should make an ambitious swoop for Fulham striker Rodrigo Munez as they look to provide competition to Rasmus Hoyland up front. Hoyland is currently the undisputed starter for the Red Devils in the number 9 position following his big money arrival from Atalanta last summer. The Dane had a mixed start to his career with only goals in the Champions League, but he has found his feet in the Premier League in recent months. Overall, he has registered 13 goals to his name and he should get better with age and experience. United are likely to sign a new striker to support him in the summer, considering Anthony Martial is expected to leave when his contract expires. In our view, Fulham's Munez would be an ideal candidate for United amid his impressive progress since becoming a mainstay for the London outfit. The Brazilian ace had a tough start to the campaign with the cottagers. He was initially on the bench before suffering any injury towards the end of the year. The 22-year-old managed to reclaim his starting role in recent months. He has been in splendid form since February with 8 goals in as many league outings. Munez is not necessarily known for his distribution and link-up play, but his positional sense in the box has been quite exceptional. He recently scored a late equalizer at Sheffield United with a sublime bicycle kick in a stoppage time. Overall, the young striker averages almost three shots per league game this campaign with a conversion rate of more than 16%. In our view, he would be a splendid understudy for Hoyland at United and could also stake the claim for a starting role with his finishing skills. He is currently valued at £8.5 million by transfer market, but Fulham would no doubt want a premium fee to consider his sale this summer. Nonetheless, United should make an effort to land his signature. He could be prized away for a package between 35 to 40 million pounds, in our opinion. Four to five clubs scouting Premier League midfielder, Man United must make another transfer decision first, expert says. Manchester United are yet to decide on their specific midfield targets for the summer transfer window. According to Fabrizio Romano, as he responded to links with Wolves midfielder Joao Gomez, speaking exclusively to Cout offside for his latest daily briefing column, Romano made it clear that Gomez has a plenty of admirers with four or five big clubs keeping a close eye on his progress ahead of the summer. Aside from scouting, however, it seems a bit early for anything more concrete to be happening, so it might be some time before we get a clearer idea of what's going on with Gomez, but Man United could perhaps be one of the clubs involved once they sort out appointing their new board and also decide on a player sales first. The Red Devils have some aging midfield stars like Christian Eriksen and Casimero, who could perhaps be ones to watch in terms of exit from the club this summer. So perhaps once their futures are resolved, it will become clearer whether or not they want to prioritize Gomez or other similar players in that area of the pitch. Romano said the following, It could be an interesting summer at Manchester United, and as usual, we have some speculation about the players leaving and who could replace them. The latest is that Wolves midfielder Joao Gomez is supposedly on their list as a potential replacement for Christian Eriksen. 
My information for the moment is that Gomez is being scouted by all top clubs in the Premier League. It's something like four or five clubs, but Manchester United have not decided yet what they want to do in the midfield. It will be important to understand the board structure before and what's going to happen with Casimiro and or Ericsson to understand how Man United's plan will evolve. So while interest from top clubs in Gomez is there, at the moment it's just scouting and Man United have not decided their plans yet. It's still early as having a new director in a place will be crucial so they can finalize the plans on who to target and how much to spend. Manchester United target Ivan Toni expected to cost £60 million in the summer. Manchester United were lucky to escape the Dutch Community Stadium with a 1-1 to draw in their Premier League game against Brentford on Saturday. The visitors were on the back foot right from the get-go, with Brentford showing much more desire to win and ended up having 31 shots and most of the game was played in the United penalty box. Ivan Toni and Wisa played off each other excellently and the United goal led a charmed life with five attempts hitting the crossbar. The England international was a constant menace, winning almost every ball and always seemed to win the 50-50 balls and even grabbed the assist for Christopher Ayer's late leveler. This was in sharp contrast to Rasmus Hoyland's display with the young Dane hardly getting any support from his teammates while he struggled to play with his back to goal. This is what manager Eric Ten Hag wanted to avoid as he had asked for reinforcement last summer, but nothing was forthcoming, not even in winter. But Inuis do plan to rectify that wrong in the upcoming summer window, and the Brantford hitman is on United's list of possible additions up front. He is a proven in the Premier League, something Inuis value, and can hit the ground unlike the United striker, who is still very much a work in progress. The Danes' development will be crucial, and that is where Tony excels, as he can play as a support striker, which can be a boon for any manager. While Thomas Frank has admitted the Englishman is likely to leave, the bees will try and ensure they get a premium for their man, who is hugely in demand with the likes of Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur and Chelsea, all linked with a move. Some reports have claimed that the London team would be asking for £100 million, which is unlikely to be paid by anyone considering the 28-year-old only has a year left in his contract. Sky Sports reporter Darmy Sheff has told Give Me Sport that a deal can be agreed for around half that amount, with the final price likely to be around £50 million to £60 million. Man United and Man City both eyeing a transfer of Bundesliga star with bargain by out close. Manchester United and Manchester City are reportedly both among the transfer suitors for Bayer Leverkusen right back Jeremy Frimpong ahead of the summer. The Netherlands international has been one of the finest fullbacks in Europe this season, making a great contribution to Leverkusen, going unbeaten and taking a huge lead at the top of the Bundesliga table. Frimpong will surely be of interest to a lot of big clubs, and the latest is that Man United and Man City are showing strong interest in the 23-year-old who will have a £35 million release close this summer, according to The Sun. The report states that City see Frimpong as an ideal long-term replacement for veteran defender Kyle Walker, while United would also surely do well to win the race for his signature, as they could see him as a major upgrade on both Diogo Dalo and Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Frimpong is a clearly an elite talent, especially going forward, with the young Dutchman contributing a remarkable 11 goals and 7 assists in all competitions this season, not bad numbers for a right-back. It would be exciting to see Frimpong playing for one of the bigger clubs in England, but at the same time, it wouldn't be surprising if he felt he could continue at Leverkusen for a while longer, with the club clearly going places under Xabi Alonso. Leverkusen are almost there in the season's title race as they close in on their first ever Bundesliga win and under Alonso they could be serious Champions League contenders next season if they manage to keep their squad together.
Still, United and City can surely afford to meet Frimpong's 35 million pound release clause, so there is little stopping them at least trying to sign him, and then we'll have to see if the player can turn down their advances. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.